what could have been an embarrassing social blunder for Mitt Romney turned into a rewarding encounter and a chance for the candidate to show his human side out there on the campaign trail. Listen to Mitt Romney earlier today in Iowa. I got I got one of these mailers that was put in my in my mailbox at, at a Christmas time a couple of years ago saying there was going to be a Christmas party for the neighborhood and everyone was invited. And I didn't look very carefully at the address, but but later that night when the Christmas party was supposed to happen, I noticed that the, that the house just kitty corner for us had all the lights on and people were on the porch. They were kind of looking it over at our house and I thought, oh my goodness, I wasn't planning on going to this, but we'll look like we're not social if we don't show up. So I. I said to Ann, we've got to go to this party. I got this flyer about the neighborhood party. We've got to go over there. So she said, okay. We, we went over and knocked on the door. They let us in. Good to see you. We came in. They had dinner. We had dinner together and, and uh, got our pictures with everybody. Turns out this wasn't the neighborhood party. This was a, this was a family having a party with their friends, all right? And uh, so we were a little embarrassed, but uh, they treated us well nonetheless. And, and I got to meet some really interesting people. Uh, one, one of them was a guy actually from my home state of Massachusetts and a uh, relatively young guy compared to me. And uh, he was a former Navy SEAL. He was living in San Diego and uh, learned about him. He talked about his life. He also, he skied a lot. He skied in some of the places I had and we had a lot of things in common. Uh, he told me that he Keeps, keeps going back to the Middle East. He cares very deep, deeply about the people there. He served in the military there, went back from time to time to, to offer security services and so forth to people there. You can imagine how I felt when I found out that he was one of the two former Navy SEALs killed in Benghazi on September 11th. And uh, it, uh, it touched me, obviously, as I recognized this young man that I thought was so impressive had lost his life in the service of his fellow men and women. Emotional story. A campaign spokes, uh, spokesman, by the way, says uh, Romney only recently learned for certain that Glenn Doherty, who was killed in Benghazi, was the same man he had met at that party in California.